Hey guys, my name is Jupe and welcome to another episode. Today we're going to do some phone slash mobile astrophotography. What is astrophotography? It's astronomy photography. It's shooting the stars. <laughs> You're going to be like, but that's impossible with our phones. Well, it is not because we did it and I'm going to show you how it's done. So last Thursday, me and my boys went on an adventure to shoot the Milky Way. And to be able to shoot the Milky Way, you should be in a place that has no light pollution or light leaks whatsoever. And to be able to do that, you need to go literally to the middle of nowhere. Like literally. Plus you need a day that has no moon and a clear sky. And unfortunately, that day had everything but a clear sky. But after a long time trying to capture the Milky Way, we were finally able to capture it at like the very last moments before the sunrise. It wasn't as great and glamorous as I wanted to be, but we were at least able to see it and capture it. Yes, I wanted to take the photo with my camera, but at the same time, I wanted to show you that you can do a lot with your phone. Here's a couple of photos that I took with my phone of the sky and I'll tell you how it was done. So yes, you need a clear sky, no moon day, to go to the middle of nowhere, well, take some people with you because you can't go by yourself, a place that has no light pollution, and with your phone, you need a tripod, a very necessary thing that I wish I had, but I didn't. I tried to put my phone on the top of the car and trying to capture the sky. The tripod is very, very necessary. And uh, by the way, you can use the tripod that the cup with the thing that I told you about before. I'll link it somewhere here. And the settings on your phone will be like this. You need to use the pro mode, of course, of course, because we can't use the night mode. I used the night mode and this is how it looked like. You need to go to the pro settings, put the ISO on around 800, 400 if you can go up to 1600 that will be good my phone did only I think 800 you need to put it on manual focus and try to focus the furthest possible and you need to put the shutter speed at 20 seconds or around that you can play with the settings and see the results unfortunately my phone was able to get 10 seconds of shutter speed only and I think if I was able to get it more than that I would be able to capture the Milky Way but that what happened you can get lower or higher shutter speeds with other third party apps and I think you can get that with the moment app we didn't have any phone reception at that place so I couldn't download the moment app unfortunately but that's what we got but still we got great results I mean I was blown by the results that we got the amount of stars that I got to capture with my phone and even without a tripod and a quick Tip, by the way, just try to put a two second or five second timer so the phone doesn't shake after you tap to take the photo. One of my friends shot the week before that and we had a lot of light pollution, we had a moon at the time and he captured these photos with his phone. And don't say that you can't do that with your phone because you can. And I'm waiting for your photos to send them to me. I wanna see them, I'm waiting for them. Go capture some astrophotography photos. I believe in you. And that's been it for today's episode. Thank you for watching. If you learned something new, give it a sub or a like. Tell me in the comments what you want to learn next. And don't forget that life is all about love and dance. See you.